Good evening, everyone. This is Benjamin. Welcome to another episode of Numismatics with Benjamin here at YouTube. I have been very busy staying indoors and avoiding the heat <laughs> because it's been getting up into the 90s and low hundreds here in Oklahoma. I try to garden, but it's usually in the evening or in the mornings, and it's followed by a rapid cold soak so that I can function. But um, I have been staying busy indoors. I read my Kindle and I work with my banknotes. And today I'm going to share with you um, banknotes that all have the theme of camels on them. I did some research with Wikipedia as I was looking for uh, information about camels. And I naively thought there wasn't a lot to share with you guys. But <laughs> there is a lot to share with you. As a matter of fact, there are three species of camel nowadays. There are the dromedary, which is the one-humped and form the majority of the population of camels in the world today. There is the Bactrian, or the two-humped camel, which is a very small percentage of camels today. And there is the wild Bactrian, which is a distinct species from the domesticated Bactrian, which is uh, critically endangered and only found in a few places in China. Uh, technically, there are seven species of camels, including the New World camels. So if you've ever seen a llama or an alpaca or a guanaco or a vicuña, you've seen some of the other members of the camel family. And once I discovered this, I realized, huh, I could have had more banknotes in this topic, but I didn't know that at the time. So the camels I'm going to show you today are mainly going to be dromedaries and bactrians. They have a lot of physical adaptations that make them ideal for their harsh environment. The world's largest population of camels is in Somalia, and I have a banknote from, not Somalia, but Somaliland that actually shows a camel. This is not considered a real banknote by some, but by others it's just as collectible as the rest of them. So let's see if I can't make this just a little bit smaller so that you can see there. A dromedary. Who'd have thought that most of the camels in the world are found in the Horn of Africa? Uh, hybrids do exist among the camels. Um, dromedary and Bactrian camels have babies that are actually bigger than both of their parents. And camels have been bred with llamas, and their babies are called kamas. And just like, you know, horses and mules and stuff and donkeys or whatever... Their offspring are sterile, so they don't re reproduce amongst themselves. I did find it interesting that the earliest <laughs> camel was actually the size of a rabbit, and it lived here in North America about 40 to 50 million years ago during the Eocene era. I discovered that a lot of um, military groups from the Middle East to um, Africa and then other places had a camel corps. In addition to, like here, for example, is the Jordanian one dinar, which shows um, a group of camel riders during the Great Arab Revolt. But it wasn't just the Arabs that rode camels. The British, the French, and the American military had camel corps in addition to those that were uh, used in Africa and the Middle East. Um, India did, or does, or did, but now uses ATVs. I, th I think they are thinking about using ATVs exclusively, but there are places in India where, until just very recently, Camel Corps have been active. Camel milk is a staple of food for many nomadic groups. Apparently, some people can survive on it for a month at a time. I'm not sure I could survive on cow's milk for a month at a time, but um, there you go. So in addition to the Somaliland note, and this Jordanian banknote with camels, I have another note from Kenya that shows camels on the back of the note. And there you go. Looks like a camel caravan. <laughs> um, they're a serious meat source for a large portion of the plant as well, and more than 3 million camels are consumed yearly. Um, I did find it interesting that as far as dietary law is concerned, there are some Islamic traditions that consider camel to be um, camel consumption to be halal, although the act of eating it makes you unclean and you have to wash before you pray again, or just outright haram. So camels are good by some 
Muslims and not good by other Muslims. The Jews have considered it to be non-kosher because it only fulfills one of two requirements. They chew a cud, but they do not have a cloven hoof. What was fascinating to me is that um, there are tons of camels in the most unexpected places. This is a banknote from Australia, and it shows a camel rider here on the front of the note in the bottom right hand corner, uh, which is interesting because it, you know, it was an animal that was used uh, throughout the settlement of Australia. And whenever the automobile became more common, camels became um, extraneous and were released where they are now causing havoc in their competition for local food uh, in the outback of Australia. At one point, there may have been millions of them with the potential of doubling in number every 10 years or so. But with recent coals and with their export as a food and as a livestock uh, breeding uh, source for um, the Middle East, you know, Australia seems to be getting their camel population under control. <laughs> um, they they do uh, cause a lot of problems in their search for water. And it's it's not that they can survive without it. They just don't need it as often, but they need it just like any other animal. And they can destroy wells, well houses, toilets. Yeah, <laughs> I would not want to be sitting on a toilet when a T-Rex came by, much less a camel. Um, there used to be a small population of feral camels in the American Southwest because after we no longer had our camel corps with the start of the Civil War, our camels were let go as well. Um, Canada purchased a number of camels for use uh, in their country, but I just, I just have not really found anything that says we have a camel problem here in the United States. I do remember in Southwest Kansas, where I was born, seeing camels at the Garden City Zoo when I was a little boy, and they were sweet, and they would nibble on my fingers. And one of them even spit at my sister. I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, but she stunk, and I guess camels are noted for doing that. My only other experience with the camel was in the shade of the Great Pyramid whenever I visited Cairo, Egypt. And uh, they tried to get me to get on a camel for a ride. And the camel and I had similar expressions when we looked at each other. The camel was like, oh, hell no. And I was like, uh, yeah, no. But, you know, the other people in my group got on the camel and it illustrated the Doppler effect for me perfectly because as the camel and the rider went running by, I could hear, ah, and as they ran further away, I could still hear the scream, but it was becoming, ah, and then as they turned around, and come back and be like, ah, I mean, it was very funny, very funny, but camels are not a beast I want to trifle with. Um... Most of Australia's feral population is Dramatri, but there are some Bactrians in that group. The first camel came to Australia in 1840 from the Canary Islands, and all but one died on the trip over. <laughs> that was sad. If you want to find more out about camels, just go to Wikipedia. It is a source of uh, interesting reading about this animal. Here is a Libyan banknote, which... Um, is a five dinar, and there's a group of people in a memorial on one side. I would I would be more detailed if this was a one note only story, but it's about camels. And the reason I bought the note is this scene on the other side, which shows a mama camel and her little baby, and it's just so precious. And it reminded me of something I saw on the Sinai Peninsula when I was in Egypt. I saw a little um comedy sketch called Layla of Layla. And it was, um, I think about Scheherazade. I'm not really sure it was all in Arabic, although they did translate it into German for my inconvenience, since I don't speak German. However, it was fascinating because at one point they had a dancing camel and I found out that they got camels to dance by pulling the baby camel out in front of the mama camel and the mama camel would do tricks to stay inside of her baby and to catch up with her baby. I thought it was a little bit cruel, but I mean, hey, it would be cruel for the public if you had to get me to dance in front of them. At least this camel had some moves. The next country I'm going to share with you is um, a little bit uh, south of Egypt, but a little bit north of 
um, the Horns of Africa and Somalia, and it is the nation of Sudan, which historically had a really interesting post office emblem of an Arab riding a camel delivering the mail. They don't have that on their modern money now, but this is a modern banknote of uh, the Sudan. It is a 10 pound. And right there you can see a camel on the right hand side of the note with some sort of saddle that provides a shade shelter for the rider. I know they've named some of the landforms on other Sudanese notes. And as I was looking at this, it made me wonder if this landform of hills doesn't have a nickname related somehow to a camel. I'm just making an assumption, folks. I don't know everything. In fact, there's very little that I do know. <laughs> the final note I'm going to share with you is from Armenia, which is around Turkey. And this particular note commemorates Noah's Ark. And you can see right there, there's Noah's Ark right there, and there's the dove with the olive branch in its beak. And there's a reliquary that's supposed to host, um, I don't know, some tangible ev evidence of Noah's Ark on Mount Ararat here in the background. But when you turn the note over and you look at this scenery, you have goats, you have dogs, there's a chicken... It looks like a rabbit's on that note, maybe a hedgehog, a goose, several dogs, a crane, uh, Noah and his family, praising the Lord, apparently. And then over here, you have a fox, you have a lion, there is an ox, there's a horse, there is a bear, a leopard, an eagle, and dun, 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 a Bactrian camel. Yes, of all the camels I have on banknotes, the only Bactrian camel I have is on this Armenian banknote. This banknote is uh, not expensive. None of these banknotes are very expensive to get. You just have to, you know, be willing to look a little bit for them. I would doubt that you would have to pay more than $15 for any of these notes. In fact, maybe 10 is a little bit more um, honest about it. I do hope that you would um, comment and let me know which of these notes you enjoyed the most to see. And uh, let me know what other kinds of videos and themes you would like me to share with you on a um, banknote video. I am Benjamin. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I have 154 followers now, and I'd like to get 1,000, so let's get going. <laughs> but comment, share, and let people know that this channel is around for their pleasure. Please give me some feedback. That is very much appreciated, and have a jewel of a day.